Hello everyone and welcome to Soul Stay Inc. My name is Beth. I'm Belinda. And we're here today to do sort of a weekend read slash library haul video for you. So let's get started. Can I go first? My first book is The Scar. All right. Basically, I think that is the boy who got a scar. Sounds about right. This is by Charlotte Moundlich and illustrated by Olivier Talek. You can't say this is the, the boy who got the scar. All right. You have a lot of books, honey. What's next? My next book is Fly Guy. Fly Guy presents what? Um, Fireman. Firefighters. Fly Guy presents firefighters. So this is going to be a nonfiction where Fly Guy talks to you about firemen. Fire, All fire right. Fighters. Very good. That's by Ted Arnold. And my third book is, is our Fly Guy. It is Fly Guy presents sharks. Ooh. Scary, but I'm going to read it anyway. Good. Next. My next book is The Boy Who Got Raised by Librarians. The Boy Who Was Raised by Librarians. This is by Carla Morris and illustrated by Brad Sneed. You might have remembered it from our first video when we got this. It's the same one. Yes, we got this a uh, couple of months ago. months ago, maybe. She liked it enough it was back on the shelf today, and she had to have it again. All right, what's next? The next book is nice. Iguanas. Iguanas. We haven't had the iguana book before. Nope. This is our first time we get <clears throat> Oh. Hopefully we like it. <clears throat> it's from the Animal Safari series for Blast Off readers. Oh. It's by Chris Bowman. They just now got, our library anyway, just now got the Animal Safari series. That's why we haven't read yeah. that one before. Next. My third book that I got no. is Kylie Jane's Baking Queen. That's Cooking Queen, Cooking Queen. by Marcy Peschke. We love these books. Yes, and I Scribd, love them. And Scribd has four or five of them on audio, and then yeah. a lot that our library doesn't have um, on ebooks. So we've been kind of the new going ones. back and forth like that. But they just got Cooking Queen in, and we snatched it up. Yep. Next My we've got... fifth book is Pops. Police cars. Police cars. This is it's, a, it's cops. This is a close-up. All right, thank you. This is another of those blast-off readers. This one is by Kay Manolis. All right, what's next? My next book is Fire Trucks. Fire Trucks. Can you say that close-up? Another of the blast-off readers. Yeah, we love the Blast Off Readers. We do. This was by Mary Lindeen. What's your ninth book? Our ninth book is... Ooh. Corals. Corals. This is part of The Oceans Alive by Blast Off Readers, and it's by Anne Harridges. And my movie I got is The New My Little Pony. Of course. Of course. The new My Little Pony movie. Was that all your books? Yep, I want to show the picture. That okay. I and here is my picture I'm still working on. Our library has a table where kids can sit down and color while their moms, dads, or babysitters are looking through the adult section. So while I was looking for a couple of books that they didn't have, she started coloring. So yeah. there you go. And a bookmark. And she for got my a bookmark. Mom. Oh, is that for me? Yes, I got for Woo, because it has the Fantastic Four on it? Yep. Woo! All right. And we're going to be reading these books ASAP, because we're really yes. excited about all of them. Yeah, I have so. two assignments, but our first book is going to be 
a kid who was um raised by librarians yes, yes. that book that one all right so then i have a couple of books that have been sitting by my bed we unwrapped them a couple of weeks ago and i just haven't gotten to them yet both of them are middle grade books that go to my classroom when i'm done with them um, if I don't get to them this weekend, I'm going to go ahead and take them. The cat is throwing things. I'm going to go ahead and take them back to my room and then try again later on. Those are The Epic Fail of Archero Zamora by Pablo Cartier. Cartier. It sounds like fun, but also it's kind of a contemporary, and I'm really not in the mood for contemporary right now. And that's the problem with this one as well, playing Cupid by Jenny Meyerhoff. Um, basically, uh, this one is kind of a summer family drama, and this one is about a girl who can always seem to match people up that should be together, but now she's trying to matchmake for herself, and she just doesn't know how to do it. So neither one of these is really appealing to me right now, but I'm going to read the first chapter or two of both this weekend and then probably be taking them back to my classroom. Um, I lost my thoughts. All right, next I have four books that I got from the library. The first one I got is The Mangle Street Murders, and this is by M.R.C. Cassassian, and this is the first in the Gower Street Detective series. And basically, I was looking for a different series that they don't have. However, the back of this book started out pretty almost to the thriller side of mystery, and it kind of drew me in. So it says, with almost everybody dead now, in my own life nearing its natural conclusion, I thought it time to set the record straight. The London I first knew rose magnificently from its stench of rotting humanity. While well, the London of today is being sacked, reduced to rubble by an enemy whose savagery is unmatched since the hordes of barbarians swept away the Roman Empire. Whether the British Empire will be destroyed also, as so many predict, remains to be seen. But I know that Sidney Grice would not have fled its capital city. For all his faults, he was never a coward. Neither shall I, though the lights go out and the very earth trembles as I write this here in the cold dripping cellar of 125 Gower Street. So that just... It's set in 1882, and yeah, that's what I know, but it sounded really intriguing. Here's my Next, second book. My second book is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia, and you guys have heard about this. This is about Eliza, who is painfully awkward and anxious in real life, but online, she is the mysterious author of a web series that people love and then the person who writes all the fan fiction for her series winds up moving to her school and apparently they have a problematic relationship I don't know I thought I'd give it a try <laughs> next I have one of my most anticipated books of the year and that is City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab um, this is a girl who almost died and can now um, pull back the veil and she can see ghosts and hear ghosts and her parents wind up getting a gig to host a television show about the most haunted place in the world. And so they go over there and there's a bunch of ghosts. And that's all I know, but I haven't ever read anything else by Victoria Schwab. But she is the author of a lot of very highly popular books. And so this is the one that intrigued me the most. And I wanted to pick it up. But she also wrote The Savage Song, Our Dark Duet. The Darker Shade of Magic trilogy, Vicious and Vengeful. So those are books I want to read eventually, but this one is my first actual Victoria Schwab read, and I read the first three pages in line at McDonald's, so obviously it's good enough for me to want to keep going with. And then finally, I have Little Lit, a uh, folklore and fairy tale funnies book. So this is basically exactly what it sounds like. It's little comic strips that are about folk tales and fairy tales. Um, I'm hoping that I will enjoy it enough that I want to pick up my own copy for my classroom because I go over folk tales, fairy tales, tall tales, etc., etc. 
so on in my classroom with my sixth and seventh graders. So I'm hoping that this is good enough for me to want to include it in my classroom um, to add to my collection. That is all we have for you today. Funny Face and I are going to go watch some TV. I don't feel very well. And I haven't gotten a whole lot of anything done because school started and my life exploded. So we're going to go just relax and watch some TV and do some reading. And we will catch up with you guys again soon. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Go do something fun. Bye. Bye.